Let's go and read. Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm bringing you guys my March wrap up. So March wasn't a very good month for me. I was recovering from the pneumonia at the beginning of it and the glands in my throat are still coming up swollen and I'm under investigation for things going on with my health and everything so it's just been very stressful and very time consuming. So because of all of that, it meant that there were times where I didn't have a lot of motivation to read. I was struggling to find that motivation. I had some time, pretty much like most evenings, but I was either really exhausted or really just unmotivated. So it really, really affected my reading in the month of March. So I only managed to finish three books. One was an audiobook two physical books. So I have to think of all the positive side, this is what I talk says, think of the positives and the positives is that at least I read something. You know, at least I listened to one audiobook, at least I finished two physical books. And I'm halfway through the third book. I just didn't get to finish that in March. So without further ado, I'm going to go through the books I actually completed in the month of March. So the audiobook that I completed was Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, Makers, Mysteries and Magic. And this is an Audible only download. I got it, I think, November when it came out, like I pre-ordered it. And it's basically an audio book with actors from the Fantastic Beasts movie franchise. And it's narrated by the guy that plays it, Jacob. And we have voices from the other characters as well and they talk about the movie franchise, they talk about what's going to happen in the Crimes of Grindelwald because this was at the time that the film was about to come out and also we have the people behind the scenes that talk about like the costumes and the makeup and everything about it so if you're a Harry Potter fan, a hardcore fan like myself I definitely definitely recommend for anybody to give this a listen and also just hearing from the cast as well it's really good. So if you really like the Fantastic Beasts movies as well, like myself, then you'll probably really enjoy this and just hearing from things like how they did things and that sort of thing and the importance of things and it really does inspire you like because of their jobs. Like some of them are saying like, oh my god, every day is different, it's so busy, but like best job in the world sort of thing and it's just sort of like, oh, that's so, so nice to hear things like that. So yes, it was really, really good, a really, really enjoyable audiobook. So of course, I had to give it a 5 out of 5 Kit Kats. Moving on to the first physical book that I completed in March, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I finally picked it up. So for the whole month of February, I did bring it with me to my nan. So I was like looking at it and I was like, I really, really want to read that book because like everyone's reading The Wicked King. And I'm just like... I want to get, jump on that bandwagon and I did and I was so glad that I did. I really really enjoyed this book. If you haven't watched it already I did do a book review on this and I'll link that down below in the description if you'd like to give it a watch. It's non-spoiler and spoiler so the first half is non-spoilers and the second half contains spoilers so if you haven't read it you can at least watch the first half where I talk about how I felt about it in a non-spoiler way but if you've read it then you can at least watch the entire video but it pretty much dives into it quite deeply but this is pretty much about this girl called Jude and she has two other sisters one day she sees her parents murdered in front of her and then she's whisked away to this fairyland with the royal court she's mocked tormented for being a mortal there and she has to deal with Prince Carden who's pretty much a dick so there's just so much that happens in that very well but like I say if you'd like to know more watch that book review down below because it goes into more detail but yeah really really enjoyed it and the ending left me in such a suspense that I needed to pick up the second book so yeah I really really enjoyed this and I flew through it and I was just loving everything every plot twist in every direction that this was going so of course I had to give it five out of five Kit Kats. So then of course I had to go on to The Wicked King by Holly Black but the good thing is I'm now up to date and I'm so glad because this was just so so good and 
I feel like I prefer the cool prints though but only ever so slightly like like things happen in this book but I think just the first book like the first book feels for me like I just really really enjoyed it and just loved the things that happened in this book so obviously as it's a continuation I won't go into too much detail but it just sort of like goes on to things that happen in the fairy court and with Prince Cardin and with other relations and there's just a lot of scheming there's a lot of traitor going on like loads of traitors and yeah it's just it's just a really juicy book but the ending this cliffhanger in this book was bigger than the first book and now I'm just like well I need the next book right now and I know the cover of the third book has just been revealed but the book I don't think is coming out until next year anyway oh I just I need it in my life need it in my life but I also did a book review non-spoiler and spoiler review on this which I'll link down below in the description as well so it will talk in the first half about things like the storyline the characters without spoiling and then the second half will contain my spoilery thoughts so if you'd like to watch that in more detail it will just explain my thoughts a lot better but yeah so I just I thought it was really really good and I can't wait for the third book when it's released so I had to of course give this book five out of five Kit Kats. So there you have it guys those were the three books two physical one audiobook that I read in March it could have been better but all things considered at least I managed to do something I've kind of hit a slumpish pace in the moment even like the beginning of April as it is now I'm just like mm, I want to read but the urge isn't as big and I don't know why that is so I don't know what I'm gonna have to do because it's the Harry Potter magical readathon and that's going to be bigly affected so I don't know what I'm going to do I don't know if it means I'm heading into a reading slump I don't know if it means I need to put my current book down and pick up like a contemporary or something that will help get me out of it I managed to finish one short book already and you'll find more about that in my April wrap up so I read that just as like just I was like, mm, let me read something short and small to see if that will like jiggle my love for reading again. Like it just, it just, I've lost my enjoyment, and I don't know if that's just because I'm I'm well at the moment and with my health issues. So I'm just gonna see how it goes for April. Obviously, this is my TBR here. You would have seen my TBR. It's up if you haven't done, and I'll link it down below in the description if you'd like to watch it as well. So it's easy for you to find. But that's it from me guys, give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video and I really really appreciate it, all of my social media links will be linked down below and let me know down below in the comments if you have read any of these books I've read in the month of March and also how you did in the month of March with your reading, what was your favourite book of March, what books have you recently purchased, any comments, any thoughts leave them down below, I like to chat with you guys, like to keep updated with you guys, your comments honestly make my day when I've had a really tough day at work. I love receiving a really lovely comment for you and you've all been so lovely especially recently like so many really nice comments like on my videos and I just I appreciate it so so much so that's it for me guys keep smiling keep reading and be happy and I'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye